Hi, I'm Jane Robinson from CTA. When I was a teacher and choir director, I tried to vary our weekly activities and set the stage for something special in order to create anticipation in the children. I wanted them to walk in the door with the attitude of, I wonder what we're going to do today. Today I have five unusual experiences you can provide in your children's ministry program. They're easy to prepare and will bring a spark of enthusiasm to your classroom. These ideas are geared to auditory learners. You may need to adapt them for your setting, but I hope they spark creative thinking for you. Children who are auditory learners like to listen, but they're also learners who like to talk about what they're learning. Let's get started. Technology is your friend when it comes to auditory learning. Use a sound recording feature on your smartphone and ask a few friends to join you in making a radio play out of the story. A quick online search will help you find free sound effects. You'll enjoy watching the expression as your children listen to the play. Or, here's a variation on that idea. Use class time to let the children create their own recording of the story. If something turned out particularly good, find another teacher who will let you play them for a class of older or younger children. For example, the story of Jonah gives opportunity for the voice of God, wind, waves, whale sounds, and dramatic dialogue. So many of the Bible stories we teach are dripping with God's faithfulness. Create a phrase or use a theme verse the children can repeat while you pause as you're telling the story. This will help bring that theme home to them. It might be something like, but Abraham was not alone, God was with him. Or, God always loves. Or, God was faithful. If that theme verse becomes a memory verse, you can play with the Voice Changer app to make the repetition fun. Sing. There are all kinds of fun Bible story songs, Christian songs that will fit with your theme, and even songs about the books of the Bible and the names of the disciples. I know, your fifth graders may groan, but get them out of their seats, have fun with silly actions, exaggerate loud and soft or high and low, and before long you'll all be singing along and smiling together. If you're not comfortable leading singing, find someone in your church to be a guest for the day. Maybe you can get the worship team to do a special mini concert and you can add another level of anticipation when you promise the class a special guest. Use homemade sound effects. Teach the children how to make sounds with everyday kitchen utensils or odds and ends from the classroom, or let them come up with appropriate sounds. Homemade sounds work best with smaller children. Older children can activate online sound effects. Cue them to make the sounds while you tell the story. Play a listening game. Here's how it can work. Write the story out in short paragraphs or sentences. Have the person who will be it wait outside the room while you pass out the paragraphs to some of the children left in the room. They should hide their papers while it comes back into the room. Have it stand facing away from the group and then motion for the child who has the first sentence or paragraph of the story to read. Can it guess who was reading? If so, that's one point. Then move to the next reader. Give as many children as possible the chance to be it. Have small prizes ready for the top three scores. This is a great game when children don't know each other very well or aren't sure about each other's names. It's a relaxed setting where you can teach names. We sometimes make the mistake of thinking auditory learners are satisfied when they hear the story as we tell it. While that's certainly one way to do it, changing up what happens in your classroom will help you start to create a sense of anticipation in children. They'll be wondering what you'll do next.